Hey guys, this is Max from GTN Official here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and assembling the Extreme Catalina 48V electric bike. Without any further ado, let's get right into it with the unboxing. We'll be starting off the assembly by installing the front wheel using the parts shown here. To install the wheel, start by properly lining it up and inserting the rod as shown. Make sure to put the spring on the opposite end of the rod. Then simply screw in and secure the rod using the included piece. Next we're going to be installing the brake pads. Start by aligning the pads as demonstrated. After that, it's as simple as putting each of the corresponding screws in place and screwing them in as shown. Now we are going to install the handlebars using the piece shown here. Begin by inserting the piece into the proper slot and screwing it into place. After ensuring that it's secure, place the handlebars onto the groove shown here and screw them into place. Installing the seat is fast and easy. Start by sliding the seat into place using the attached pole, then proceed by securing it into place with the clamp. Next, we're going to be attaching the pedals. For your convenience, the pedals are labeled to show which side of the bike they go on. Installing them is as simple as screwing them into place on the correct side. Moving on, we are now going to be putting in the battery, which as you can see here, conveniently houses a USB 2.0 port for mobile phone charging. The battery is extremely easy to install, just slide it in and use the ignition keys to lock it into place. Then finish off the process by connecting the wires which are color coded for ease of use. Now we are going to be putting on the front fender. Start by inserting the fender through the back side of the wheel into place as demonstrated here. Then using pliers to hold the part in place if possible, insert the corresponding screw into the slot on the bike and screw it into place. Also, be sure to attach the rods on the rear of the fender below the front bike wheel. Next, we are going to be attaching the front basket. This is as simple as putting the basket onto the front of the bike and then screwing in the two screws on the rear of the basket. Next up is the cup holder, which attaches directly to the handlebars with a single clamp and screw. Additionally, the included flashlight mounts onto the bike in the same way as the cup holder. I saved the hardest for last with the rear rack. This is without question the part that the people over at Extreme get the most questions about installing, so I'm going to try and explain the installation process as clearly as possible. First and foremost, start by fully assembling the rack before you put it on. Make sure to attach both side pieces to it using the included screws, and keep in mind that one side piece is meant to be longer than the other. This was intentional for the rack to fit on properly. Also make sure to put on the rear reflector. Now that the rack is assembled, align it over the wheel exactly as shown and use an allen wrench to screw in each of the sides. Finally, lock each of the two brackets into place as demonstrated here and screw them in until firmly in place. And that's it! 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or reach out to Extreme Scooters via the link in the description. With that said, I'd like to give a huge thank you to Gina and the people at Extreme Scooters for sending me this review unit. Always remember to wear a helmet and ride responsibly. Thanks for watching.